Today I'm excited. I'm excited and I'm not only excited, I'm moved to talk about this subject today. I told you guys last week when we talked about time, I told you guys you don't want to miss this particular podcast this week. And we're live, but you do not want to miss this podcast. I told you guys that last week. I'm pumped up. I'm telling you, man, I'm fired up of what I want to talk about. You know, today, man, I want to talk about something that... uh, how can I do it today? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it a different way. I'm gonna start off a different way. Uh, for those of you guys who are old enough, do you remember the Jetsons when it was futuristic when they were flying around and flying cars and things of that sort? You know, and 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 people are uh, uh, show like people on the, on the moon and and uh, all of the the the, the um, how can I say it? All of the, the space stuff, the, the the technology, the future. And all of that stuff, you know, when I was a kid, you know, we didn't we never thought we would see the things that we see now, like drones. I never thought I would see a drone when I was a kid. Wasn't even thinking about that. And now we're in a time right now where, hey, man, they already have cars that can actually fly. We're not technically using those cars right now, but we do know that there's cars now that drive themselves like Tesla. So we're getting really close to a lot. So today on the show. I'm going to talk about something that is very, very dear to my heart. I mean, I'm very, very into AI. AI, that's right, artificial intelligence. I'm really into that. I mean, I really put a lot of extensive study into AI. And I just want to give you guys um, some information, once again, that's going to last you a lifetime and not a lunchtime. And I just want to put you guys up on some, some major game because If we don't really, really take heed to what's going on right now, I'm telling you, you're going to get lost in the sauce. I'm going to say it again. You could literally get lost in the sauce. So I'm going to take my time and talk about a few things and I'm just going to break it down and give you guys some information. I don't want to really, really, really go uh, too far over anyone's head, but I really want to give you guys some basic information that I think that's going to really help a lot of us out there when it comes down to AI, because it's a new time, it's a new world. And I think a lot of people are pretty much behind the eight ball when it comes down to what's happening in the areas of technology, when it's what's happening in areas of AI. You know, today you go into the supermarket, what do you see? Machines. You go into the airport, you see machines. You go into the bank, what do you see? Machines. Machines are everywhere. So the next time you're in one of these stores or you're in a restaurant and you see a machine, that machine is not there for convenience. That machine is there to take someone else's job. You guys hear what I just said? That machine is not there for convenience. That machine is there to take someone else's job. And that's so critical and so crucial and so important. So AI is here, folks. Not only is it here, it is here to stay. So we have to really, 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 really take heed to what's happening right now. Now, I'm going to give you guys some staggering statistics, and I want you guys to listen to this statistic, okay? Staggering. In the next five years, I didn't say 10 years, in the next five years in United States and Canada, Over 85 million jobs, we will be displaced due to artificial intelligence. Think about that. And right now we're dealing with a pandemic. So there's been so many companies that have actually flopped and failed and are no longer coming back. And also, too, corporations and companies are not operating the way they used to operate. You know, right now we're not in the office. I'm not in my office. I have a staff. I have a team. But I'm not in the office. People are doing work from home. So I want you guys to know something else. Something's going to come out of this. See, corporations that normally had so much overhead. We're talking about offices, facilities, all of the overhead, all the way down to coffee, all the way down to supplies and materials, all of that transportation. These companies no longer has to foot the bill for those expenses. So during this transition of pandemic, a lot of companies have realized that they can make it through the pandemic, still make money and survive. So I want you guys don't think that these companies are going to be ready just to jump back and go back to the way it used to be. Because one of the main things corporations do in today's time, they try to save time. They try to cut back 
and they try to keep it lean. That's exactly how you make profit. So everybody's been seeking how they can make profit. You know, it used to be when I was young, customer service was was number one. Customer service, customer service, number one. Today, man, you could be walking inside of a Walmart or walking inside of a Target and can't find somebody. That's the way it is today. So if you're in a Walmart or a Target, it's best for you to actually go to one of the little stands, concession stand or something like that that has a barcode to, to scan it to see whether or not if something's in stock or to scan it to see the price. But when I was young, when I was a kid, that was just recently, man, if I'm inside of a Walmart or a Target, it was always an employee around that would actually help you. Today, go inside of a Walmart or Target and see exactly if it's a, a, a over uh, influx of employees just helping you with customer service. So customer service right now is a thing of the past. Now it's self-service. So we went from customer service to self-service. <laughs> you, you get what I'm trying to say? So that's where we are, folks, when it comes down to artificial intelligence. Now, I'll tell you guys this also, too. 5G is everywhere. 5G. You guys know what I mean by 5G. It's everywhere. All of the commercials talk about 5G, 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 5G. This is happening all around the world. 5G. Not only that, robots, drones, things of that sort. Like, for instance, um, FedEx, they have this uh, robot that's pretty soon is going to be able to drop off packages. UPS, the same thing. Uh, a colleague of mine, a fireman, he just told me about uh, the fire department now is basically having a robot that's going to be fighting fires. You, you get my point? So you don't really, really need people today the way we used to need people. You, it was a time, man, you could you could get anybody can get an army today. You can't get an army. You got to pretty much have a, 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 a pretty much good GPA just to get into the army. They don't need us to fight wars, folks. Wars are being fought now with drones. That's what's happening right now. And a lot of us are still living, how can I say it, behind time. We're here living and don't even realize that the technology that we use every single day is dumbing us down. I'm going to say that again. The technology that we're using every single day could literally be dumbing you down. What do I mean by dumbing you down? See, when I was a kid, we had to work a cash register which means we had to work that cash register, get the money from that customer, and then I had to count the money back to the customer. Today, you could take a college student or a high school student and put the high school student or the college student on a register when they got to literally think and count the money back, I guarantee you most can't even count it back. So what happens if a, a, a society that deals with technology and computer systems, what happens if the systems go down right now? People would be literally in chaos. People have more confidence now with their monies being in the bank using debit cards than having physical money in their pocket. How do I know that's true? How often do you spend physical money? Most of us swipe, swipe, swipe. Listen, I'm not against technology. I'm just telling you that technology is literally controlling people today. So most of us, we don't have to really, really worry about the government. We're worrying about the government. We're worrying about the government controlling our lives. But in actuality, technology could literally be controlling your life right now. Technology, not only technology, through social media. When you go into the airport and you go into restaurants, I don't even see families talking anymore. The other day I was inside of a restaurant with my mask on and I was just looking around and there was a family that was in the mat in the restaurant and the daughter was on the cell phone. The son was on the cell phone. The mom was on the cell phone and the dad was on the cell phone. Everybody was on their cell, their cell phones or on their smartphones doing some some business or some work. And that right there, you guys, is just a little much too too much control. And now you have all of these algorithms and when people are on the phone, whatever they're looking at, then those same things start to come in their feed. All of these things are happening to us and we don't even understand what's happening subconsciously. That's the reason why artificial intelligence and AI is so important. I'm not against technology. I don't want you guys to get me wrong. I love technology, but I am against the person that allows technology to totally consume their lives and control them. Most people, when they wake up in the morning, the first thing they do is grab their smartphone, like, like they're late for a, a, a funeral or something like that, or late for church 
are late to get to work. They wake up. The first thing they do is grab their smartphone and start working their smartphone. And I personally believe in the near future, people are going to have to literally have therapy because they use technology too much. You, you know, how people have to go to rehab for drinking and smoking. In the future, there's going to be a technology rehab where people are going to have to actually go to get therapy because their brains are blown because technology didn't took over them. That's what's going to happen in the future. And this is where we are right now. And a lot of us today, we are no longer creators. We're no longer thinkers because we're so much consumed with artificial intelligence, information. That's where we are today. And you don't even have to have a brain today. Things are too much. They're right at, right at your fingertip. You don't even have to have a brain. We have Google now. Anything you want to know, just go to the Google. You can go to the Google right now. Listen, I want to learn how to build a car. Go to the Google and put it in there. And hey, you start getting information on ways to build a car. So whatever you want, you can get it today in a society where information is available totally. But what you will find is people are not being creative. People are not being innovative. What people are doing now is, is waiting for the next iPhone or waiting for the next program or waiting for the next thing. But the question is, are you being programmed? So I really want to tell you guys something. We have to learn how to go from 5G to 5D. I'm going to say that again. You want to learn how to go from 5G to 5D. Now, what I mean by 5D? The street professor talking about 5D. Well, 5D is way, way, way. I want you guys to listen to me. Way above 5G. The 5D is the fifth dimension. What do I mean by the fifth dimension? The fifth dimension. What I mean by that, I'm talking about when the person really, really knows him or herself. When the person uh, seeks wisdom in life, when the person is free from fear, free from anxiety, when the person know who they are and whose they are. I'm talking about the fifth dimension. When the person has seek wisdom mathematically, the fifth dimension. So I'm telling you guys that 5G is going to either turn you into a robot, <laughs> okay? Or 5D is going to actually turn you into a creator, an originator, and that's where it's at. So what we want to really, really strive is, is for the fifth dimension. What I mean by that, that third eye, folks, for those of you guys who understand what I mean by that third eye, I'm talking about that third eye. I'm talking about wisdom and knowledge and vision. That's where you want to be. But you will never get the wisdom. You won't get the knowledge. You won't get the vision if you are conformed. You see, there's a scripture in the Bible that says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewal of the mind. So if you don't renew your mind, I'm telling you guys, you're going to let the 5G turn you into a robot. What I mean by a robot, not a physical robot, but a person that pretty much follow trends, not a person that set trends. So you really want to focus on the fifth dimension. And that's all about wisdom, knowledge, mathematics. If I talked about the actual sizes of the earth, like the planet earth is 196 million, 940 square miles of land and water areas. Spinning at the terrific rate of 1,033 and a third miles per hour every 24 hours. See, I'm seeking wisdom. I'm seeking knowledge. I'm seeking higher learning. I'm not going to allow technology to lead me in a direction where technology wants to lead me. So today I'm encouraging people to teach your kids how to play music. Teach your kids how to read a book, how to study Teach your kids how to take time out for themselves by taking them away from that TV sometimes. Get them away from that TV. Get them away from that computer and give, kids some, give your kids some time to really, really, really get a chance to get into themselves and see uh, the skills and, and, and all of the things that they have inside of them that they can exhibit. Because if you're constantly consuming your kids with programs and different things, your kids are not going to be originators and thinkers. They're going to be people who pretty much follow trends and not set trends. So we have a lot of people today are copycatters and imitators. And that's why it's so important that we really, really understand that technology is good but too, too much technology can really, really not only hurt the kids, it can actually destroy the kids. So I really don't want to go 
in depth with a lot of different things, but I'm telling you guys once again, you want to get away from the 5G and you want to get into the 5D, the fifth dimension. You want to really, really elevate your wisdom, your knowledge, your intellect. And I'm telling you guys, the circumference of your intellect will determine your circle. So keep feeding your mind. Keep feeding your mind. Sometimes you may want to put that cell phone down and just take a, a ride to the store or, or to the park or wherever you're going to go without that cell phone. It was a time where, you know, we used to have to wait to get home to hit an answering service and get a message. Today, everybody can get in touch with you anytime and, and whenever they want to. Hey, that's like invading your privacy. And people are comfortable with that. You can get me anytime, any hour of the day. And we're comfortable with that. We're comfortable with people watching what we're watching. And before you know it, everything that we like, someone knows exactly where, what we like. We're comfortable that wherever we go in the world, someone knows exactly where we were, what time, uh, what hour, where we were. And we're worrying about the government and we're worrying about politics. A lot of people are way behind time, man. Technology is the thing you should be looking at because a lot of our laws, a lot of our rights are being taken away from us every single day due to artificial intelligence. Hey, you guys, listen, I wrote a book uh, about seven years ago. And when I wrote this book seven years ago, I just wrote the book. I didn't really, really uh, put any um, major marketing behind it, but I just wrote the book. And uh, when I wrote this book, this book, it's called Artificial Intelligence. Artificial Intelligence. And this book, man, it's a powerful book. It talks about a lot of the things that I'm talking to you guys about right now. But the book also deals with spirituality also, too, because they both go hand in hand, folks. You guys are going to read a lot of books on technology. You guys are going to read a lot of books on artificial intelligence. But also I want you guys to know that artificial intelligence and technology, they go hand in hand with spirituality, spirituality also, too. So once again, you guys, you want to go from that 5G to that 5D. That fifth dimension is way above the technology. So if we do that, I'm telling you guys, man, you're going to have fun for a lifetime and not a lunchtime. That's my time on the show today. Once again, you're rocking with the street professor. I went from the streets to corporate suites, and I'm going to save a seat for you guys in the classroom. As a matter of fact, this week, I'm going to save two seats. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also go to RoryDouglas.net, RoryDouglas.net to get all of my handles. Peace.